Hello everyone! Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. Let's read the book Germs vs. Soap. This is written by Dee Dee Dragon and is illustrated by Hannah Robinette. So we see some germs on the cover of our book. One germ says, isn't it spelled J-E-R-M-S? No, I'm pretty sure it's with a G. The letters are even germy. But the, so for soap, the letters are very soapy. So, when to wash your hands. Mmm, there's a list of when to wash your hands, but the germs are trying to cross out that, those words. So, let's begin our story. Once upon a time, and maybe even right at this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny you can't see them with your eyes. But that doesn't mean they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. <gasps> energy cupcake, energy cupcake, energy cupcake. Look at all of them dreaming away. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ's sweet cupcake dream. Soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. Nope to soap, they say. That rhymes. Clean is mean, they say. That also rhymes. <gasps> oh, there's um, there's one germ over here with his sign backwards. I don't know what his sign says. <laughs> I guess this is the same germ that tried to spell germ J-E-R-M-S. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The teacher asks questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands, and that's how we get in. Ew, kids are gross, one of the germs say. That's right, eyes, nose, mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. You're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they're not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes. Energy cupcakes. Okay, so it's not real cupcakes that they're trying to eat in us. They just want to eat our energy. Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. So the germs are talking to each other. Lucky for us, we're on hands. Unlike poor Bjorn over there. How do you get so far away? The kid sneezed into their elbow. So the germs on the hands are happy, but the germs on the elbow, not so happy. All germs know that eating lots of energy cupcakes, energy cupcakes, makes them toot a lot. Toot is another word for fart. Look. The, the germs um, nom, 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 are eating our energy and they're farting away. So the toot could be a silent toot, a medium toot, or a loud trumpet toot. So either one of those farts. Germs don't care, they just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. You guys got it? The germs eat our energy, the germs fart, and that's how we get sick. A sick kid will start sneezing Achoo! and coughing <coughs> so that germs just fly out of there onto someone else. And you know what that means? More energy cupcakes. 
Energy cupcakes. Unless the germs find themselves right in front of the sink. Probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. So the girl, she gets up. The germs say, great, now the kid's on the step stool. The step stool? Oh no, I, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it, Arnold. Luckily for germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just wash their hands with water. Water? Ha 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 ha. Ooh, look at me. I'm so scared of water. But you are actually scared of water, Arnold. It's quite a celebration for germs, you know, if there's no more soap in the bathroom. In fact, it's officially called a no soap party. <laughs> Happy no soap day! Do -do. Click. Party time! But all parties must come to an end, especially when an adult is sniffing for the soap smell. <gasps> I think an adult realized there was no soap in the washroom. Oh, it's the adult's nose right above us. Code 931, code 931, code 931. <sighs> no! Wait, what does that mean again? Oh, for Pete's sake, code 931 is the sniff test, Arnold. It means we're going to get washed. Do your parents ever do that to you? You wash your hands and they're like, let me smell them. I don't smell any soap. But germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for bazillions and bazillions of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs for crying out loud. Say it loud and proud. Who are we? Germs! What do we want? Energy cupcakes. Who's going to stop us? Normally, when you have a cheer like this and you say, who's going to stop us? You say, no one. But Arnold says so. I guess that's true. So the germs are not sure if they are in danger. So it's always a good idea to double check before making sudden moves. This is their checklist to see if they're in danger or not. Is the kid on a step stool? Okay, okay, okay. Are their sleeves rolled up? Check. Are they reaching for the soap? Check. Do they have a very serious look on their face? Check. If you check marked everything, you're gonna get washed. Ah, the germs say. Germs know to rush to safe zones. Well, some of them. Get between the fingers. Under the nails. And on the back of hands. Move it, move it, move it. So they're going to go to the places that are hard to wash. Don't fight the bubbles. Just stay inside of them. We're going under in three Two, one. Glug. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're going to get. Arnold is busy writing. Germs were here. Spelling germs with a J. Ew, this soap is so cold and slimy. Whoa, it's too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. Hmm. Hey, you know what? This soap isn't too bad. That 
Wolf. Gah. Gah. <gasps> Arnold. Arnold was at the center of the palm, right? He was the first to get hit with soap. So, germs prepare to get scrapped for at least 20 seconds. Step one, rub hands palm to palm. Step two, back of hands to Step three, in between fingers. Step four, back of fingers. Step five, don't forget about the thumbs. Step six, under the nails. And... All that commotion, the germs get distracted by bubbles. <gasps> Look at all these bubbles. It's a bubble blizzard. Arnold, bubbles, pretty bubbles everywhere. They're so shiny. <gasps> but none of them could have prepared for this moment. Look. I have a bubble butt. <gasps> oh no, we've lost our germy layer. Look at us, we're getting squeaky clean. Squeak. Guys, watch out. It looks like a tsunami. It proves to be a little fun for some of them. Hey, look, he's on a bubble. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Don't mind me, just surfing down the line. Da -na 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 What's wrong with him? Soap fumes. <gasps> so. <gasps> Look at where the soap and germs are going. Right. Is that a shock? Uh, you know we're not really in the ocean, right? Right. Whoa, it got dark. Who turned off the lights? Am I on a slide? Whee! This is a drain, Arnold. <gasps> Ooh, look, it's an energy cupcake. Yummy. <sighs> That's old toothpaste. Arnold? <gasps> so, our drains might not be 100% clean. And so, the germs go down the drain. The end. But down the drain they yell, that's not the end. There'll be more germs, you know. True. There will be more germs, but the soap says to us, and there'll be more soap. Wink. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Look at those glistening hands. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed it. Germs versus soap. This is written by Didi Dragon and it was illustrated by Hannah Robinette. Thank you so much for reading along with me.